Welcome back to the channel. In the last video I explained the process that I go through to create the texture of the fur around the eyes. By first indenting the texture into the paper and then working over the top with various grades of pencils. And now it's time to start work on the nose. First by drawing around and blocking in the darker tones with a 2B pencil. A blending stump is then used to soften the edges and also pull out some of the tone in some areas. This will have the effect of creating a smooth transition between the nostril and what will be the surrounding fur. I can then start to use the blender to apply tone to the nose itself. This will build a very subtle tone and will add some shape to the nose. This is also used to darken any areas that are in shadow and is a very non-invasive tool to start to build the area up. I now roll a point on the end of a kneadable eraser to make any slight alterations or add any highlighted areas. When I am happy with how this is looking, I can then start to apply some tone with a blunt 2B pencil. The pencil is used lightly in a random circular motion. This will allow the grain of the paper to show through and will give a very subtle skin texture. As more layers are applied, the tone builds until the desired effect is achieved. I now use a 4B pencil, dabbing it over the nose creating some of the darker spots and markings. And again, then use the kneadable eraser to make any slight alterations, with the 4B then being used to darken some areas further. A sharp F pencil is then used for some of the finer details. Now to create more of a transition between the nostril and the fur, I use a sharp 4H pencil. And what I do with this is I run it through the darker tone and then work back into the fur area. This will drag the tone and as it runs out, it creates a nice smooth transition. This can also be used to create the same effect around the bottom of the eyes. Now I am happy with how the nose is starting to look, I can use the 9B to apply the last bit of contrast. And then it's back to doing fur texture. I start by applying tone to any shaded areas with the blender, before then working back over it with the darts. As well as then adding the various grades of pencils. I also have to be constantly aware of the type of fur that I am working on, whether it be short, long, straight or tangled. I am also being careful to avoid any areas where there are whiskers, as these require a lot more attention and will need to be added before the fur is drawn in around them. If you do have any questions then leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. So I hope you have found this interesting, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.